Hi, this is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. And last time I talked to you, I shared about a really cool way to <clears throat> get into God's presence. And that was, in case you didn't watch it, that was what I call extreme journaling. And that is what God taught me to do is He taught me to create a diary and just to write down things that were on my mind and then to write down His answer just like he was asking, answering my question or talking back to, to me, sharing with me it like a fellowship or relationship and not to judge it, not to think about it, just to write down the first thing I heard in my spirit and that would be a way that I could practice hearing him and practice uh, more confidence in hearing him and it really is amazing that when you start extreme journaling how much your confidence builds and how um, um, confident you get in hearing his voice, how the experience you get in hearing his voice in every day just through extreme journaling. And that is, let me give you an example. Uh, I was going for a walk and there were always worms that would crawl out. I'd go for a walk early in the morning and there were always worms that would crawl out on the road and then they die and dry up and die because the sun came out and it really bothered me because I'd be picking them up and some of them would have life in them and I, you know, I'd throw them back on the side of the road so they wouldn't dry up in the hot sun in the middle of the road. And it bothered me so I said in my extreme journaling, I asked God why the worms did that and he said that his answer was immediately in my head is they're looking for a mate. So I looked it up on the internet and I found out that that was true. That when there's a certain temperature that they can't hear and they can't see, but when there's a certain temperature, below a certain temperature they'll come out and they'll feel the vibrations in the ground by crawling on the ground, they'll find each other and they'll mate. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and I never knew that. And, and so I learned that by extreme, uh, it, it gave me confidence because I could, I could take what he said and I, I saw it prove out. So he told me to do extreme journaling. So I did extreme journaling. But what I want to share with you today is the other thing he taught me. When I go for my walks, he taught me this uh, about a week or so ago and, and I started doing it. It was really fun, exciting, and scary at the same time. And it, and it just happened. And then he taught me what was happening. I just started singing in tongues uh, while I was going for a walk. And then my tongue sort of changed a little bit. And I started singing in tongues ag again. But uh, I realized I was singing in tongues. And then I was singing by faith in tongues God's answer. And then I would sing in English the interpretation of what I just sang in, in tongues by faith. And then I would sing his answer that I sang his answer in tongues. And I'd sing that back to myself, um, the interpretation. And it was really cool. And he told me not to judge uh, and just to be patient and, and just say, sing whatever came into my spirit in, in tongues. It's kind of, I, it, I think it's called reprisal singing. And I, I was raised Lutheran, well, actually, when I was 12, I wasn't really raised Lutheran. I went to Lutheran church once in a while because my parents did and their parents did. You know how it is. Don't do what your parents did. Get to know God personally. Anyway, I went there, and we had catechism class as a Lutheran. And um, I don't know what my point was. Oh, reprisal. <laughs> the pastor would come out wearing this white outfit and the collar and everything, and and he just stand a certain way and hold himself a certain way, you know. And we'd, we'd sing a song. He'd sing something, and then we'd sing back to him. And I think that's called a reprisal. And that's kind of what God showed me to do, to sing in tongues and then to sing back in tongues as him, sort of like the Song of Solomon. And then sing in English my part and sing in English his part, which is really cool. And, and so I started doing that and got answers and just... Just God reaffirmed to me His love for me and everything. So I really highly encourage you to use uh, re repri reprisal, reprisal, reprisal. One is like correcting somebody, and the other is singing back and forth, but answering. Anyway, and and extreme journaling. So my name is Robin Bremer. Check out my website b r e m e r dot net, and I'll talk to you next time.